Hey, buddy. We're back in days gone. Now tell me what you got. Hey. Uh, you don't look very militia to me. No, um, man. Name's Wade. Wade Taylor. You can call me Wade. Deacon St. John. <laughs> Holy Listen. shit. Deacon St. John, is your old man a preacher or something? No. Man, that is a hell of a name. All right, listen. You wait. see this, man? This is some crazy shit. I think mean, yeah. this guy's high as a kite. So what, you joining up, becoming an army man, you playing soldier and shit? I don't know, maybe. Mm -hmm. Listen, uh, you look like you just came in from out the shit, right? Yeah, man, yesterday. Okay, yesterday. I've been, been waiting to see the colonel, whatever the hell that is. Traveling with some people, we got separated. You see mm -hmm. anyone that looked like this around here? Uh, nah, man. Ooh, she is a looker. I'd hit that, you know. <laughs> uh, I gotta go, man. They're I wanna kick your ass. Lice or some shit. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. Jesus, what a name. Jesus, that dude's fucked up. He's clearly high as a child. She slapped him in the face. Go, go. Come on, sir. Come on. Where the hell? Hell no, you're not. Come on, you you're gotta here. work. Yeah. Somewhere. Maybe in these tents. Uh, she wouldn't be in the mechanics area. She never knew a wrench from a screwdriver. Oh, a new gas tank. Oh, I could do with that. <gasps> I want it! I want it! Uh, 4,000. Oh. I need it! <laughs> Can I okay. flog shit anywhere? See you later. Uh, I don't know if I've got any meat on me. She's not in the mess. I mean, that's where. Well, that's where I would be. Why are you not working hard? Why are you still uh, in my ah. obstacle course? How's it going? Why are you not finished with my obstacle course? What's up? Do you like yes, very good. Goodbye. See ya. I need more money. Moving. Give me money. Maybe in here. Nope, not here. Check You're this one. Feeling any better? The infirmary. I mean, with her background, that's where she would be, right? Mm. Oh, damn it, she's not here either. Anyone got any money for me? That's got to be the one. Sarah? Oh. Sarah, you in here? Shit, not here. Cute drawings. Oh, God. I'm glad Sarah and I never had kids. Losing them must have been. Move, move, move. Oh, God damn it, she's not you here. She's not here, but. My dead grandmother. Right, yeah, yeah, it couldn't be that easy. My I could dead crippled grandmother. Who is in a gun? I look at the map. Uh. That's all we've got. So John, are you on this channel? Corporal Russell said you had a radio. Sergeant. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm here. Meet me at the gate. On my way. Go, go, go. I'll get, I'll get it. Don't worry, I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll. Anything else? Need some ammo. That all you need? Okay. Okay. See ya. Where is he? What's up? There he is. Over this way. I'm getting ready to ride out. You still coming? Ready when you are. Looks like you put a lot of work into this. Yeah, some. Had a better bug, but some asshole fucking stripped it for parts. Keep up, man. You got a head start on me, so that's bullshit. So what the hell happened back there? I mean, it looks like a forest fire, but the stumps are charred. So that means... That means that the timber was cut before it was burned. You got a good eye. We call it the dead zone. We use the timber to build our barricades, then burn the slash. From the outpost, we 
can see a horde coming long before it reaches us. Do what? You're gonna burn all the buildings too, so the newts and the swarmers have nowhere to sleep? You know you're freaks, huh? Like I said, I've been out in the ship for a long time. So that's your plan, huh? The militia, I mean, to burn everything to the ground? We're fighting a war out here, St. John. We'll do whatever it takes to win. A war? That's what it is, isn't it? A war? You've been out in the shit. You've seen the hordes. The only thing that's gonna stop them... I've killed a horde. <laughs> our army. It's gonna take way more than an army. Do we have a plan? If the Colonel lets you join, we'll fill you in. So, Silver Lake, you asked about survivors. Someone? No, no, not really. I mean, look, there were some folks that I rode with once, and I thought oh, maybe they ended up there. Uh, I thought maybe you were after someone for a bounty. I mean, yeah, no, I tracked men over long distances before, but not this far. No bounties worth that. This is it. Oh. Oh, that's worth. Oh, hey, Corporal, the captain's here. It's done, sir. Make sure you make a marker. Yes, sir. All right. You two head back to Diamond Lake. Grab, uh, Taylor was his name? Yes, sir. Yeah. Take him to the Colonel. I'll be there in 1800. Sir? Military time, Corporal. You're supposed to know this by now. Oh, yes, sir. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. 1800, 6 p.m., man. You find something? Uh, how long is, uh... Vasquez? How long has Vasquez been with you guys? A couple of weeks, maybe more? <laughs> well, he's been busy. What the hell? You guys been having trouble with supply runs, marauder attacks? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go on foot from here. On foot? Why? <laughs> because Vasquez came out here for a reason. I can't track him from the bike. God. You better have some money for me after this, because I want that BB tank. <laughs> Where do we start? It's been snowing, so uh, there won't be any boot prints. Come on, I want to look inside the cabin. Oh. Okay, I'm following you. Sprinting. I like a change of scenery. This, I like this snowy area. What we got here? Dog toy. Yeah, make it back. I. You, Give it to uh, Jack. <clears throat> you said he stole rations, ammo? Yes. This is an MRE. It's half eaten, so looks like your men rode up on him when he wasn't expecting it. His bike's still out front, which means that he went out the back. But I'm just going to make it's sure I crap. take everything before I go that further. Molotov. And a pipe bomb. Probably must suppress his arm because you never fucking know in this game. The Wait, loot is over, over here. here. Ah. What'd you find? The fence has been cut. And the rust. So it was cut recently. Yeah. Come on. This way. Let's have a little sprint down, sir. Oh. I see a red blip on the... Here. Hey, hold on for a second. Look. Over here. Tracks? Uh, yeah, we're in luck. Looks like deer shit as well. This or way. shit in general. Wait, 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 hold up. Uh, you find something? Yeah, shell casing. Recently fired. He, uh, well, he stopped to shoot at something. Come on, down here. Goddamn wolves. Look out! More wolves! I see him. That's the last of them. I'm gonna skin them now because, you know. Looks like it. Nice work. Wolf meat. Sell to camp, get money, get BB tank. One of the camps can use this. Uh, killed that. Ah, there he is. I know there's another one hiding. Some bitch hiding in the forest. 
Yeah, the bush. The bush. Okay, I want to take a look at this. Oh, thing. I can't accept. Can I get it like, after I've examined it, maybe? Looks like the MREs weren't enough for your man. Clean gunshot right through the head. Aww. Yeah, the wolves must have heard the shot. Decided they wanted it more than Vasquez. Yeah, the rest of the pack came at us from back that way, from the east. You think they chased off Vasquez, leaving one to guard the carcass? That's my guess. Come on, let's see if you're right. I couldn't get that wolf. You I shot him fair and square. I needed that carcass. Yeah, we get reports almost every day. When I was a kid growing up, there were no wolves in Oregon. I mean, a few coyotes, but no wolves. They've been driven to extinction by ranchers and farmers, timber companies. Well, it looks like they're making a big comeback. Oh. I got something up here. I can't sprint to it. Look at that body of a wolf by the look of it. Hold up, hold up, hold up. But what is it? It's a backpack. It's one of ours. Looks like they almost got to him. And he shrugged off the pack to get away. No, no, no. To buy time. He landed on his ass. Tried to scramble away, but then the wolf lunged. Vasquez dropped him. Two shots. You can tell all that. Yeah. Uh. I can't pick it up. Fuck it. Push on forward. You hear that, man? Wait, get down. Swarm. A Nero gravesite. I don't think this one is marked on our map. They're scattered all over the region. Yeah, well, maybe that explains why uh, Vasquez came through here. Let's go around. Exactly what I was thinking. Well, I got Molotovs and pipe bombs. We could probably, like, Saint John, this way. team up and, right like, take them out. I gotta say, I'm getting tired of running and hiding from these sons of bitches. You ever take on a swarm? Yeah, I've done it before. You just gotta keep moving. Well, look, if you're gonna join the militia, you must stay focused on the mission. We're not out here to fight freaks. But, but I wanna shit, kill, kill them. Freaks, it kinda goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Okay, um, put some distance between us and the graves. The cold weather's gonna bring out even more of them. I think they can smell the corpse from about a mile out. Part of our slash and burn strategy is to find these grave sites, dig them up, and burn them along with everything else. Ah, you know, all yeah. of them. Well, good luck with that. I've seen hundreds of them. It's just. Somewhere. Um. <laughs> all right, where now? Keep heading east. Hey, there's a road ahead. Hold up a second. What do you think? Is anyone else tracking him? Not that I know of. Huh. Well, then he's either dead, or he's got a lot of friends. You see how his tracks have been overridden by bikes. A lot of bikes. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Let's see where they're heading. You said cold weather brings out the freaks? Yeah, yeah. Cold, snow, rain, hell, even clouds. Well, like I said before, clouds? Freaks, when we get to I see lots of clouds. <laughs> People. Yeah. The colonel will fill you in Come on. if he lets you join. Yeah, yeah, I think you said that already. Look, he runs a tight outfit. I just don't want you to get your hopes up. Hey, don't worry about me. I don't really give a damn either way. Hey, wait. Hear that? Yeah, it's coming from the logging camp over there. Is that on your map? Yeah. Well, that means it's also on Vasquez's map. Come on. If Vasquez is there, what would your strategy be? Well, he's not alone. We know that from the tracks. What's that militia penalty for going AWOL? Hanging by the neck until dead. Why? Well, it means Vasquez isn't coming without a fight.
Hey there. Let's try to sabotage with the bikes. And again, you don't need to. Do you see your man? Yeah. That's him. Yeah, get up. Oh, looks like you guys need to start doing background checks on your recruits. He seems to be right at home. Well, let's wait here. I'll radio for backup. Get your goddamn hands off me! Oh, oh this one's a fighter, boys! On, what do you think? Oh, come on, boss, oh, see about that. <laughs> oh, hell no. What? Uh, I just got this problem with assholes who hurt unarmed women. I'm giving you an order. Order? I know what for you yet. Yeah. You don't give me orders yet. You do whatever the hell you want. Never one bass dust. Never one bass dust. You ain't got shit. Got him. Now you're gonna pay. Come on, kill him. Don't let him flank me. You got him. Now you're gonna I almost did it silently. If it wasn't for my rifle, like, going at the last second, I would have done it fine. Not anymore. Whew, okay. Wait here. Stand guard in case we missed anyone. You can handle him. He won't know what hit him. Go ahead. Try, asshole. I guess not. Is it the roof? How are we getting there, bud? I guess bad this way. Ah! Gotta be another way in. Easy, easy. I'm not gonna. I'm just here to help. I don't need your goddamn help. Okay. I can see that. I'm just gonna move over here. <sighs> Stay the hell away from me! Hold on, hold on. Now, we're not with them. You think I give a damn who you are? Wait. Okay. Hold up. Let me cut this shit. <laughs> Thank you. God damn, it's so slow. Uh, which... Hello. What the hell was that? 
Just your typical damsel in distress. Vasquez? Done. Way done. Captain Corey, come in. This is Corey. We're here, heading up the road to the main gate. Hold your position there. We're coming. What about the enemy? They've been, uh, uh neutralized. Uh, hold your position. Curry out. Come Miss on. Br oh, there they are. We brought up your bikes, Captain. Thought we'd save you the walk back. That'll be all, Corporal. So how'd I do? Did I pass? Pass? Oh, you've been watching me all day. I figured this was what? Some kind of test. <laughs> no. Nothing quite as formal as all that. As you can see, our pool of recruits isn't what it used to be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. You passed. Yay! Do I get a gold star? Maybe some money to get that BB <laughs> tank? You ready to meet the colonel? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why the hell not? <laughs> so, St. John, where did you serve? Before the ship went down. You know what an MRE looks like. You know how to recon an enemy position. You know, cover in advance, tactical maneuvers. So, where did you serve? Marines? Army? I try not to talk about it, you know? I mean, first year out here, seemed like anyone who used to wear a uniform had a target on their back. I, uh, I was in the Army, 10th Mountain. I did a full tour in Afghanistan. So how about you? Anyone who's ex-military has a, <laughs> a certain bearing. None of your soldiers have it, but you do. Like All right. Said, you got a good eye. I was in the Air Force 10 years. Part of SAC. There ain't no missile silos in Oregon. I was on vacation, believe it or not. I was lucky. Before SATCOM went down, I got hourly reports from across the country. You think it was bad out here? Everything east of the Mississippi. It's gone two days. So, are you familiar with this area? Yeah, I grew up in a town north from here. Uh, it's called Farewell, you know it? No. Uh, it sounds like a fitting place to be living at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. So maybe you have been here before. Yeah, I've been here uh, a few summers back. Me and my old lady, or my wife, we stopped by here on our honeymoon. You got a pick? Uh, of your wife, I mean. <laughs> Her name was Carrie. We were married 12 years when... Anyway, it was a long time ago. Hmm. You know, I, I think this might mean keep out. Huh? Oh, no, no, that doesn't apply to us. Why, because we can't read? Because we don't obey the law. Speak for yourself. After you. Mm. All right. Uh, you know, making me a co-conspirator, not very chivalrous. Chivalrous what? No, it means, um... Right. I never learn. I'm trolling you, that's what it is. I'm sorry about that. Oh my god, you should have seen the look on your face. Oh, I bet it was funny. Yeah, if I'd owned a cell phone, I'd have taken a picture. Well, for just this once, I'm glad that you don't. Oh, come on, don't start on that again. Hey, I didn't say anything. You brought it up. You just did. Where the waterfall? Looks nice. We're gonna just uh, walk and not talk, huh? Okay, okay. So, where are we going? Oh, no, here you go. Just follow the trail. You'll see that it's not that far. Is 
A lovely, lovely waterfall. <laughs> what would my mom say if she knew I was out on a midnight stroll in the middle of nowhere with an outlaw biker? Well, I don't know. She'd say, honey, you better wear your sweater. Very funny. Yeah, she wouldn't say anything, you know? You weren't supposed to tell them about us, remember? Oh, come on, Deacon. I said that a long time ago. You know I didn't mean that. Hey, look, I'm not judging. I'm oh, just, here's the path. I mean, I'm just, I haven't told my old man. That's because your father's dead. Well, yeah, I mean, there's that. The question is, have you told anyone in the MC that you're dating a nice girl from Seattle and not some bimbo from whatever strip club you guys live in? Oh, well, okay, wait a second. No, we don't live in a strip club. I mean, we have a lifetime membership there. That's <laughs> true, but we don't live there. And second, uh, I did tell them. Yeah, matter of fact, I did. Wait, you, you did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, don't sound so surprised. They find your PhDs to be very sexy. Oh, yeah, I bet. How much further we gotta walk? So, you know this is way past my bedtime, right? Oh, I know. Oh, come on, stop. I mean, I really do have to get up early tomorrow. Yeah? Uh, how's that going? I mean, you, uh... Well, you never want to talk about it, so... It's nothing, it's just... Ugh, it's just this project, I and mean, we've got these execs flying in from New York to audit our progress, and the suits at our facility are installing a new lab without even showing me the spec, and... Ooh, well, I thought you didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> Sorry, it's just... Oh, that's the end of the path. You know, like I said, it's nothing. Anyway, thank you for dragging me away from all that. Yeah, no problem. Whoa, wait, 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 is this a pop farm? Is this what you wanted to show me? Say what? Well, these are marijuana plants, and that's an irrigation system, so this here, this is a pot farm. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that, pot farm. No, what I want to show you is just down you this dragged me out in the middle area. Of the night to the middle of nowhere Keep to walking. show me the MC's illegal growing operation. Uh, yeah. I mean, you got me. <laughs> I was hoping that you could give us some tips, you know, cultivation, put all those PhDs to work on something actually useful. Jesus, TQ, what? <laughs> okay, I get it. This is not actually what you wanted to show me, right? No, of course it's not. Come on, keep following the trail. We're almost there. Just over this ridge, I think. Ah, uh, stubby legs will take me any quicker. Think I would learn, but I never learn. Nope. Why is it suddenly bro Oh, whoa, that's... Whoa. God. God, look at that moonlight. It is... It's so beautiful. Keep going. Uh, we're almost there. You ever wonder what it would be like if just everywhere all at once the lights went out and everyone could just... See the world just like this. Uh, watch what the TV mean, series Revolution. Like um, that's basically person. the plot of that. I mean the moonlight, the wildflowers, and the fireflies. And again, it got cancelled, so you know, it ends on a cliffhanger or something. You don't take anything seriously. Ooh. Oh, I take everything seriously. Oh, yeah, right. I do. You do not. Like when I suggested moving some of my stuff over to your place, you pretended that I was joking. Uh oh, -uh, no, that's not true. I pretended I didn't hear you. There's a big difference. You should have seen the look on your face. And you know, I do have a cell phone and I took a picture. You want me to show you? My God, you're a scientist. Can we be rational about this? Okay. First of all, all I said is that we should think Ooh, about water. Being together. You know, because we get and the waterfall. together and, you know, take the next step. What's irrational about that? I have a toothbrush at your place. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? You're right. That is a huge commitment. Well, I mean, do you know how much a good toothbrush costs? Okay, see, there you go again. Every time I try to talk about our future, you turn it into a joke. Ooh. Okay, all right. We do need to talk about it, and we will talk about it, but just hold on for a second, because I want to <laughs> I want to show you something, okay? See? This is why I brought you out here. Wow, how beautiful. Was it worth it? God, yes. <laughs> hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah? <gasps> TK. 
again. Will you... Will I? Will you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so that a yes? On two conditions. Name them. Okay, well, the first one is that we don't have one of those biker weddings where you say that you're gonna ride me as much as your bike. Done, I couldn't promise that anyway. Oh, stop. Okay, the second one, the second one is that you never leave me. Done. God, did you just break your biker ring off my finger? Uh, you know what? <laughs> I think I probably Ooh. did. <sighs> <sighs> Look at it. It's so cute with its little fangs just like clenching onto the chain. You know, nothing says true love like dog skull. Dog skull. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what does it say there? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew Latin. Come on. No, uh, it's Morier Invictus. <laughs> it means death before defeat. Wow, I like that. Well, you're going to get me. Like a real ring, though, right? No, that this one's no, not absolutely, great. Because I, I just you know, thought that's my ring, you right? It's your that. ring, right. something more simple, without fangs. Okay. <laughs> all right. oh, shit, I'm sorry. No, it's your ring. It's the lab. I gotta get it. Okay. Hello. Yeah. No, no, no. It's fine. I'll be right there. Okay, bye. Is everything okay? I don't know. They need me back there. What? I gotta go. Uh, th this minute? Like, th at this time of night? I'm sorry. I have to go, but I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay. Come on. I've been put back in the present day. I ain't walking all the way back. My wife's name was, uh, Beth. No, I don't have a pick. Let's go. If you like what you've seen, don't be afraid to uh, throw us a little like and uh, subscribe. That's always very appreciated over here. And, uh, well, I'll see you on the next video.